Now, the Specky was awash with footy games all the way through its history, from classics such as Football Manager to great games such as Match Day uh, from Ocean, John Rittman and Chris Clark there, to really great games, Match Day 2, um, about as good a sequel as you could have hoped for from uh, Match Day, to the brilliant, sorry about the Amstrad cover, I only realised that when I was making the video, but it was a brilliant game, to games I have never played, um, but really should now that I've included their covers in the um, front of this, to ones that were uh, okay, I suppose, weren't brilliant, to ones that were awful, such as this. I actually own this pile of shit, Peter Beersley's International Football. Good Lord, it's crap. And then there was the debacle that was this game, uh, World Cup Carnival from US Gold, which was really World Cup from Arctic, but with badges and patches and stuff in the box. Which leads us to the 22nd of June, 1986, and this bastard, mm, Diego Maradona. There you go. That's as blatant a handball as you're ever going to get. Poor old Shilton out jumped by a little midget there. And uh, just to rub it in, there you go. He's uh, He goes on a couple of games later and he lifts the World Cup. Thank you very much, Diego. Well, Grand Slam made a game out of that. A Peter Shilton simulator, if you like. And they called it Handball Maradona. Except on the actual game itself, it's not called Handball Maradona. It's called Peter Shilton's Football. It's a kind of goalkeeping simulator, and it's not a great game. And um, I'm go oh. I'm gonna um, try playing it. Um, you don't really do an awful lot in it. It's uh, just going through the motions here. Um, you basically are the goalkeeper, and you try and select your team, which alarmingly um, doesn't include Arsenal. It does include Spurs, but there's no way I'm choosing them. Um, so I'm going to go for Nottingham Forest. 86, Brian Clough was still around, so we'll go for them. And let's just um, not delay this any further. Let's just get into the game. And this is it. You are the goalkeeper, and the outfield players are playing with um, one of those 99p Woolworths footballs, as you can see. But... Um, I managed to make a save. It uh, pinged off my head or hit me in the belly or something like that. But as you can see, there's some um, shots and curves and everything. It's obviously the windiest football match in, uh, in history, um, the way the ball swells about. And it's just, this is basically the game. You are the goalkeeper. Um, you've got f to face four shots and you've got to try and sort of save them, which is nigh on impossible. It's more luck than judgment. Um, and Diego Maradona plays no um, part in it and there's nothing that sort of makes you even the goalie doesn't look like Peter Shilton um, moves like him a bit in his later years but he's, he doesn't uh, resemble him in any uh, way shape or form and then bizarrely you seem to get um, goals based on your saves um, saved another one there how I don't know um, it's kind of like three and in simulator, if you like, but without the in bit once the, uh, um, outfield team scores three and, you know, that's it. You've got up, down, left and right and space or whatever your fire button is to dive and a combination of buttons to show dive directions, but there's absolutely no gameplay to be had in this whatsoever. Um, that's being brutal. Um, and when you consider some of the games that I put into um, the, the sort of intro to this, um, your Emily and Hughes, your Match Day 2, um, etc., they showed what could be done with a football game um, on the spectrum. Yeah, and this is just, I don't know, just the fact that they advertised it as Peter Shilton's Handball Maradona, the cover of says that, the adverts all say that, and then when you get into the game, it's just Peter Shilton's football. It was clearly um, some kind of uh, very quick marketing shoehorn um, to take advantage of the fact that England were robbed. And all right, he scored a fantastic second goal after that, but, you know, it, that was um, 
this this is it this is the game there is no more to it there are there is a kind of advancement mode where you can sort of go up skill levels etc but there's nothing in this that really makes me want to try that out um nothing you know you don't even get the uh, there is a two player mode so i suppose that gives you the opportunity to sort of play as an outfield player but it's just um not really very very good at all Anyway, that was a very quick um, review of Peter Shilton's Handball Maradona from Grand Slam for the Spectrum. Couldn't be any more than that because that's all there is to the game. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Take care of yourselves.